two, testing one, two. One, two, three, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. One, two, three.
Thank you very much. Welcome, members and members of the public, to your AGM on Monday, the 6th of June. Agenda item one, apologies. We have an apology from Councillor Liam Magill. Do you have any other apologies? No, thank you very much, members. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome back Councillor Paul Rankin. Welcome, Paul. You're not a stranger to this. <laughs> Chamber indeed, and, and hopefully now you're back, you'll be able to get back into working for your constituents that you were elected to be so. So welcome back, Neil. Thank you. I'd also like to welcome our new councillor, Councillor um, Jessica Johnson from the Lance Party. Welcome, Jessica. I'm going to open the floor to you to say a few words. Yeah, hopefully I'll get used to this a bit more. Um, no, I hadn't really prepped anything. Um, I didn't think I was going to get called out like this. Um, but thank you very much for all your welcomes and stuff. I'm really looking forward to getting started. And hopefully I'll be able to make a mark on this council in, next, in the next year or so. Um, and I'll be well in the future as well. So thank you very much for introducing me to everyone on the council. Um, and hopefully I'll get some decisions made as well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. And just remember, you have to go to committee meetings now. <laughs> Councillor Baxter, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord Mayor. And can I just um, echo your, your comments of, of welcome to, firstly, um, I was going to say Alderman Rankin, but as it is at the minute, he, he's Councillor Rankin back to the benches. I think Paul updates quite a few of us in these benches as a, as a local councillor way back many, many years ago when he was a young man in his 40s. Um, <laughs> when, he, when he came on the Bombridge Council, so he's certainly no stranger to the, he's certainly no stranger here, and a very welcome addition back on the benches and pay tribute to to the outgoing councillor who's for delayed tonight's in the public gallery, um, Keith Park, who who kept who kept the seat for for Paul, um, well until he until when he came back there, so just a very warm welcome back um, to councillor um, Rankin and also to councillor Johnson. It's nice to see you in the chamber tonight. I've seen your photograph briefly on social media over this last uh, number of weeks. So we're looking forward to working with you. Um, and I wish you all the best as you, you join your land's colleagues over there um, on the benches too. So welcome. Thank you, Councillor Baxter. Alderman Spears. Lord Mayor. I just want to be associated with the comments that have been made. A uh, uh, councillor Rankin, as he is now, is he uh, departed us for a short time and he's back again. So uh, I'm not sure whether he enjoyed the the, the holiday or the the stay in another place or not. But in any event, we'll no doubt hear more about that on on some future occasion. But uh, welcome back, and uh, indeed, I like others did see the uh, pictures on, on Facebook and social media in relation to Councillor Johnson. And uh, again, like others, uh, welcome here. Uh, you're always welcomed and of particular interest in, in what uh, Councillor Baxter said. He certainly was welcoming you, Councillor uh, Johnson, but I've no doubt it'll not be very long before he'll be campaigning to take your seat. So that'll be the nature. That'll be the nature of politics. So, in any event, uh, let's hope that uh, you enjoy your your time here. And uh, there is an election next May, so we'll see what happens then. Maybe Councillor Baxter will be, have a different view slightly then. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Lord Mayor. Thank you, Alderman Spears. Councillor O'Hallan. Yeah, thank you, uh, Lord Mayor. And um, like uh, Alderman Spears, want to be associated with the, the remarks, both welcoming back um, Councillor Rankin and welcoming Councillor Johnson. It did strike me as Councillor Baxter was speaking to, to Councillor Johnson, uh, the pleasantries and the niceties, and I thought, <laughs> see how long that lasts. Uh, give it 20 minutes. Uh, but look, uh, <laughs> uh, but look, uh, uh, you're very welcome uh, on behalf of the, the SDLP group, and then we look forward to working with you. Thank you, Councillor Hallam. Alderman Rankin. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Um, just want to thank everybody for the kind comments and also welcome Councillor Johnson along to the, the chamber. 
and also to pay a uh, tribute to my colleague and friend Keith Park for the time that he spent on council. And you never know, maybe haven't seen the last of Keith. He's certainly made an impact when he was here. And uh, thank you and pass on my thanks to him for the way that he uh, conducted himself for the 10 weeks. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Bragan and Councillor Pope. Thank you, Lord Mayor. And it was just also to welcome Councillor Rankin back to um, the Chamber and uh, look forward to working together again. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Councillor Pope. And yes, indeed, I didn't see you down there, Keith. Congratulations on your, your tenure and well done. And no doubt we haven't seen the, the last of you. Um, so no other speakers. Thank you, members. Agenda item two, declarations of interest. It's always, members, you can forward them through to yourselves or whenever we come across the agenda. Agenda item three, remarks by, the, by myself. So what a... Members, what a fantastic year we have had. Um, we have enjoyed every last hour, every day of the last year as Lord Mayor. And of course, my wife, Andrea, was there by my side as a lady mayoress. And I said at the start of my tenure that you'll all get to know my family. And I know the many of you did over the last year. So on behalf of the Lady Mary S. Andre, Alex, Cody, Billy, and myself, as the outgoing First Minister. <laughs> Sorry, citizen of the ABC Council, we would like to extend our sincere thanks and gratitude to all those that we have met over the year and had the pleasure to have hosted throughout the last year. A special thank you again to my wife, Andre, children, and my mom and dad. First and foremost, to Lord Mayor's office, Susan or Susie, and April, we appreciate your full support throughout the last year for your support with the diary and events on helping support my chosen charities for the last year. Angel wishes on guide dogs and I had the pleasure of <coughs> handing over a check to Gary from Angel Wishes earlier this afternoon on the guy and the team from Guide Dogs and I last week. I've made some good friends in Les and Stephanie. I'm Monroe the guide dog, and I'm a sim daily. That's my role as last as Lord Mayor, and I now count them as good friends. And I hope they are listening here tonight because they're doing fantastic work. And doubtly, I will be able to help them continue this fantastic work as we move forward. Massive thank you to the staff here in Craig Adams Civic Centre, as due to. COVID pandemic, most of my time spent here, as Billy calls it, Daddy's Big House. To Ryan, Nigel, Peter, Mark, Alison, Grace, thank you so kindly. We had a fantastic time in the crack. It was always 90. And not forgetting Jonathan, the chauffeur royale. He was always a gentleman in a professional service. And thank you to Eddie, Paul, Phil, Jeff, and Liam for the photographic memories. And he definitely couldn't forget to thank my daughter, Alex who spent a lot of time doing the BBC and duties. So I had special thanks to her and my mum and dad. Thank you to the Deputy Lord Mayor, our Chief Executive, Roger, for your guidance, to the directors, staff, Democratic Services for your support throughout the year, and it has been invaluable. I appreciate you keeping me updated in your areas of expertise, so thank you. Last year, when I took over as Lord Mayor, one of my first engagements was to open up a, a play park. And I had two schools there of young people helping me to open up the park. And the young ones were asking me about the Lord Mayor's chain. So I asked one of them, did they, they want a word? And uh, next minute I had a whole queue of young people around the play park. One wearing the, the chain and the school taking a photograph of it. And that lasted for about an hour. <laughs> but, Whenever I hosted another sports, young sports group then in January, some of the young ones were there and they remembered me. And they came over and they said, Lord Mayor, we remember you from opening the play park. And then they had me doing a TikTok. <laughs> so it was absolutely fantastic. The centenary of Northern Ireland was at the, was at the forefront 
of the Ulster Unionist Party group in here at the ABC. And we, as we as the party that helped form Northern Ireland, this was an extremely important year for unionism, not only in celebrating the last 100 years, but also looking forward to the next 100 years and beyond. I had the pleasure to welcome the Duke and Duchess of Wessex to officially open our fantastic new Safe Lake Leisure Centre. I will never forget having the honour to host the Royals. And when standing waiting on the Royals, I asked Roger, what do I do now, bear in mind we're in COVID? And what do I do if he offers to shake my hand? So the, if Prince Edward came walking down the red carpet and he stuck a big hand out, says, good morning, Lord Murr, and shook my hand. So um, fantastic from that perspective to be able to say that I've shook the hand of the Royal. And then we moved to when Putin's Russian forces invaded the sovereign state of the Ukraine. Not only we as a council, but we as a nation held out our hands of friendship and support. And we can be proud that this borough stood up in bringing together the community, businesses, charities, and local government, and much more, much needed resources to Ukraine and to those who needed it most. I'll never forget the young woman who I had invited over, the tears of sadness, compassion, and drive to help our fellow countrymen and women. We as a borough stepped up. So members, members of staff, thank you so much. For those who helped and continue to help our Ukrainian brothers and sisters in their fight against this great unjust. Being Lord Mayor at a time when businesses have shown resilience throughout the challenges of COVID has been an engagement opportunity to encourage recovery and growth, as well as recognition of the importance of listening and reacting to business needs. I would like to see this strengthened in all of our council's offerings to build a robust economic borough. To finish my tenure as Lord Mayor, I had the honour of being the first citizen for Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee. What a weekend we have, and I'm absolutely exhausted from it. From council events to local tea parties to St. Dan's Cathedral, and let's not forget a good marmalade sandwich. I felt proud and humbled to take part in the lighting of the beacons and to hear Her Majesty's clear message of hope and togetherness. Her example of dignity and strength, her compassion and pride for a wonderful country is fitting for the weekend of celebrations that we just had. Let us be proud to serve our sovereign queen as her local government and continue to make ABC the great place that it thrives to be. Her Majesty, you are a fantastic lady and we love her. I now look forward to getting back to the benches and seeing the, the lovely bromance that has been flourishing that I've noticed over the last year. Councillor Cosby and Councillor Lavery, it has been a joy to watch. <laughs> and whilst I never got the chance to be first citizen for Armed Forces Day, which is coming to Bomb Bridge on the 18th of June 2020, I'm delighted that after so many years of working behind the scenes, to see Armed Forces Day reach our borough, and indeed the star of the county down, our very own Bombage Town. I would like to take this final opportunity to say thank you to your servicemen and women, our veterans, the PSNA, the RUCGC, who recently celebrated the 100th anniversary, and to all our security force and service personnel, both past and present, and your families. Thank you. Thank you for your service to your Queen and country. This time last year, Alderman Spears nominated me as on behalf of the Old Unionist Party. And I hope, Jim, that he done you proud. They've done our party proud, this council, and most importantly, the citizens of this borough. My colleague, Alderman Ian Burns, informed me that not only was he the first Bombridge Words man, to hold the first citizen's office, but also the first county down, Orange Man, and the first veteran. Not only that, but today I have donated the DFID to the people of Bombridge, which will hopefully be shortly 
placed in the town centre. So now I'm signing off as Lord Mayor. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you much, members. Alderman Spears. Lord Mayor, just uh, say a few words in appreciation to yourself. Uh, as you entered this role a year ago, we were on a, a slack period of the COVID virus. Things were apparently returning to somewhere near normal. As you and others are no doubt aware, that didn't turn out to be the position. It in fact got worse and it was become quite a difficult time uh, for any citizen, but particularly yourself as Lord Mayor. Uh, you did get COVID yourself and unfortunately uh, were out of service for a few days, but thank God that you did return to health fairly quickly again and out and about. Uh, yes, as far as your role as Lord Mayor, uh, yes, I, you were nominated by ourselves as a party last year and uh, I was delighted to be able to do that. I must say, uh, you done us proud. And not only did you do us proud uh, as a party, you done yourself proud in terms of the way you carried out your role in a very, very dignified and very uh, good manner. And you done this borough proud in every area that you covered and every event that you were involved in. I had the privilege of being at many, many events that uh, you were uh, at and uh, there as mayor. And I certainly was uh, particularly proud that you were part of a team that I was on. And uh, you certainly done yourself and your family and uh, the wider district in your role uh, that you played with full remarks. And I certainly have the greatest pleasure in saying that you've done that to the fullest extent. And I thank you, not only on my own behalf, on behalf of the party that I represent, but I have no doubt on behalf of each and every citizen within this borough uh, for the way you carried out your work. And thank you for that. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alderman Spears. Councillor Kevin Savage from Champion, please. And thank you very much, Lord Mayor. And apologies, I had some technical difficulties at the starter. So uh, could I, on behalf of our party, uh, welcome Councillor Rankin back and also welcome Councillor Jansen to your first meeting. Uh, Lord Mayor, as, as you know yourself, the years went in very fast and, and I had a very busy schedule. On a personal note, I would like to thank you very much for accommodating a few uh, civic receptions that I had requested. They were all fantastic evenings. You were an, an amazing host, as was your wife, Andrea, and young Billy was there as well, and he entertained people as well. But uh, the, the people who attended receptions, Lord Mayor, remarked on um, how at, at ease that you made them feel. You took them around the building, and they all went away saying that a good night's crack, and you can't want more than that when you're, you're dealing with uh, the, the citizens of the borough. You did get about quite a bit, as I said, and, and you, you did represent the borough very well. And uh, I also, uh, that, uh, I've, I've lost my train of thought here, Lord Murph, sorry about that there. Uh, but I just, uh, you've you done an excellent job throughout the year, and I just hope that uh, you get a bit of time now to spend with your family and put your feet up and uh, get your get your thoughts back and ready to join planning committee again. So thank you very much, uh, Lord Murbar, and uh, best wishes going forward. Thank you very much, Councillor Savage, and thank you for reminding me about Bama. <laughs> Councillor Mark Baxter, please. Thank you, um, Lord Mayor, um, soon to be former Lord Mayor, which is a title that you'll hold forever now. Um, it's a great accolade to become the Lord Mayor of a borough, and I just want to congratulate you on behalf um, of the DUP on the successful year that you had. 
I think it was nice to come in tonight and be able to shake your hand on the way in because certainly whenever you were an incoming Lord Mayor at the start, um, shaking hands was a was a real no-no when -no. they were starting to get back to that. I think that sort of mirrors the year that you had. I think last year was a very, very strange year before you came in. And as you went through the year, um, more and more events started to come in and were starting to come back to, um, I suppose, some, some form of normality um, to near the end where I'm sure you've had many receptions and many people and you'd be glad maybe now to to take a bit of a back seat and get your breath back. Um, and it's nice even to see that there's a few more creeping back in now to the chamber and hopefully um, as we continue um, this year, by the end of the year, some night we might even have a full house, um, albeit we might have to give a few some directions. But that aside, it's been a it's been a great year for you. You've been a great ambassador um, for the borough and indeed you've been a great ambassador. Um, and even last week I spoke to you about veterans as well. That's certainly been at the forefront um, of your year in office. Um, as well as, of course, your charities. And it was good to see your charities um, out again the other night uh, at the Jubilee celebrations in which um, you led the way over, over the weekend. Um, also, it was good to see your wife, Andrea, with you. And it was good that the Lady Mayor did play a very active role throughout the year, and that showed them, I think, people and groups coming in that it's a very friendly place to come into. And I think, as Councillor Savage even said before, you're a Lord Mayor, and you're a Lord Mayor, you're a Lord Mayor for everyone. And I think you've certainly, um, you've certainly shown that over the last 12 months. So just as you come back to the benches, um, I wish you well. I wish Andrea well. Maybe in a couple of months she might be saying that one. She's maybe sick of the sights of you again that you've been away for so long. Um, but it'll be good to have you back on the benches. Um, and all, all the best. And, and well done. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate your kind words. Councillor mm -hmm. Thomas O'Hanlon, please. Yeah, thank you, Lord Mayor. And like others, can I join in congratulating you on uh, what was a, a busy but very successful year. And before Alderman Spears spoke, I'd written down the words uh, you're, when you were speaking uh, about uh, being a, a credit. This is a credit to council, to your family, and most of all to yourself. Uh, you, uh, like everyone who has held that role, uh, you bring a bit of your own personality uh, and shape the role in the way uh, it suits you. And I know I, I joined you at uh, an event in the City Hotel where uh, money was raised for... Um, in fact, the, the three of us uh, were, were there that night uh, where money, money was raised for a number of charities, including um, the, the Children's uh, Cancer Funds. And on that night, they said they had raised £65,000, but before they got the cheques handed over, that had reached 81000 And uh, I know you were uh, very gracious in the way uh, you greeted young Niall on the night. Uh, and thankfully, since uh, that event, Niall has completed his cancer treatments. Um, but look, like everyone else, want to join you in wishing you well. Uh, as someone who has held the, the First Citizens uh, Office in Armagh, you'll find tomorrow the emails slow down, the phone doesn't ring as often, and you go, I'm at home this evening. <laughs> so uh, that, that, that hits you fairly quick. Uh, but uh, as others have said, uh, let's hope that um, uh, you don't uh, torture Andrea so much, maybe get, get a bit grass cut and tied it up around the house. So, thank you. I think she's already that plan. Thank you very much. Um, Councillor Brown Poe, please. Thank you, Lord Mayor. And on behalf of our group, I would also like to congratulate you um, on your year. And in particular, I'd like to pay a tribute to your key involvement in the Council's response to the Ukraine crisis and the impact of the war. The setting up of the transport hub uh, for essential supplies and then the reception assistance center uh, showed this council at its very best. I also want to uh, pay tribute and say thanks to the Lady Maris, um, Andrea, for being so proactive in attending uh, council events you know, with you during the year. Um, this has been a busy year, um, especially because of the recovery. Um, and I think there was a very large number of events that you that you needed to attend. So I certainly wish you well uh, with everything in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brian. Councillor Pope, thank you. Councillor Paul Barry, please. Thank you, Lord Mayor. And can I also uh, congratulate you on your year in office. I would concur with every comment and remark that has been made in relation to the leadership that you have shown 
in the past year. And clearly, whilst uh, every year is a challenge, thankfully, we've managed to get through it with your stern and, and good leadership. And, you know, during the year, there have been many big events, small events, but big events, namely the NI centenary, which you have, you have mentioned, your leadership through, through the Ukraine support uh, hub, and indeed, even more recent days, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee events, to which you attended many, many events. But all your different events that you have attended across the community uh, has been met, met with great pride. And, and, and you posed the question and hope that you've done your group leader and your group proud. Well, I, I would just like to say, as others have said, that you've done this council proud and us as individual councillors for the, the leadership uh, and commitment that you have shown uh, to the ABC area. And it has been a pride to, to see you in your position as Lord Mayor and indeed not forgetting the, the, the Lord Mayor S. Uh, Andrea for, for being with you on many occasions. And it's it shown the commitment that you and your family give to this role, uh, which was very heartening, not just to us as councillors, because you, are the, you were the ambassador and you carried out your role with great pride, dignity, to which something that you as an individual and your wife and family should be very proud of. It was a proud moment for you. It was a proud year for you and your family. And I would just like to wish you all the very best in the days ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. You're, you're getting watch Councillor Michael Lindon, please. Thank, <clears throat> thank you, Lord Mayor. Yes, um, Glenn, as Chair of Economic Development, this last year, I had the pleasure of working with you and attending many events with yourself and Andrea, and you were always a pleasure to work with. You carried out your role in a very proud way and a dignified way, representing the borough really well. Um, you've been very generous with your time towards me and my community, so on that, I want to thank you very much for that. I wish you all the best going forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, members, for your kind words. And I would just wish to uh, say good luck to our in-going Lord Mayor. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, members. Good evening, uh, Alderman. Uh, Councillors, we now move to item uh, 4.1 on the agenda, which is uh, the appointment of the Lord Mayor for the incoming year 2022-2023. Uh, and as members know, uh, year four uh, of this term of council falls uh, to the Democratic Unionist Party. And I would now invite uh, the party's nominating officer, uh, Councillor Baxter, uh, to provide a nomination for the position of Lord Mayor. Councillor Baxter. Thank you, Chief Executive, and I know um, this will come as a big surprise to everybody in the chamber because um, it's always, as every year, the worst kept secret um, <laughs> within these halls over, over here at ABC Council. But I'm delighted tonight to um, nominate the name of a, a close friend of mine and a, and, a, and a colleague here for many years. I was going to say I've known Paul all my life, um, but he was about, <clears throat> I've known him all my life, but I think he was 15 or 16 when he first met me as a baby. Um, <laughs> indeed, there's been a lifelong association. Indeed, I'm glad to see that his parents are um, here tonight in the public gallery. And that's Dr. Fred Greenfield and his wife, Jean, who are dear friends um, of my parents as well. Indeed, um, Dr. Greenfield, I was going to say christened there, but as a good free Presbyterian, I was dedicated. And uh, uh, Fred Greenfield had the, had the pleasure, <laughs> and I call it a pleasure, maybe, maybe others wouldn't, of dedicating me um, all those years ago, as I said, whenever, whenever Paul was just going to high school, I think. Um, and I do joke, of course, there's only a few years between us, but it's a delight tonight to um, I propose Paul Greenfield um, as Lord Mayor um, this evening. I said there was a lifelong um, association there whenever Paul and his family um, emigrated to Canada. I'm not sure when, that was 1986 or 1987. Um, there were some things that they have to offload, and his mum, Jane, was... Um, handing out some of Paul's toys, and I don't know how well that went down, but I got some of Paul's toys all those years ago as well. I don't think he's ever forgiven me for that. 
Um, so it is a delight tonight to be able to propose him. Um, um, for Lord Mayor, I wish him all the best. I have no doubt that Paul will bring, as everyone does, their own stamp um, to the position of um, the first citizen of the borough. To him and to his wife, Fiona, um, and the kids, I wish him all the best as he takes on this, this very important role. Um, he's certainly no stranger to these benches. He has served as Deputy Lord Mayor previously and as, as Chair of Development, so he certainly knows how the mechanics of it all, all works, and I've no doubt that he'll be a very popular Lord Mayor and a Lord Mayor um, for everyone. And it's a great delight tonight to propose officially as nominating officer of the DUP on behalf of the party, Lord Mayor um, Paul Greenfield, and wish him all the best for the incoming 12 months. Truly, it is a humbling experience to be sitting here tonight and to represent the people of Armagh, Bambridge and Gavin as your first citizen. Uh, never when I first ran for council in Bambridge did I think that one day I would be sitting here. But just for the record, it was a ski electric set, Councillor Baxter got, which he denies. And uh, I'm still not quite over it yet, but uh, I know my mum, she agrees that he did take it with his two arms open. And uh, I think he was about three years older than me whenever that happened, but he was too old for ski electrics. But can I firstly thank my party colleagues uh, for their putting their faith in me to take up uh, this privileged position. And I thank them for all their support. As I look over to my right, and I see them all here, uh, I know I will get plenty of advice and guidance, uh, as we see quite a few former mayors and lord mayors sitting amongst them, uh, who have all done this role to the best of their ability and very successfully in the past. And I'm also sure when I look over to the right, close to where I was sitting, I'll be kept correct in the standing orders as well, uh, as Councillor Cosby is there, and he's given me a nod, he's already warned me, so we'll try and do our best in that there. But uh, I want to thank and put on record tonight uh, a tribute to our outgoing lord mayor and deputy mayor, who both carried out the rules uh, with great respect and dignity, and I wish them well in the future. Again, I was speaking to Glenn and Andrea at the Beacon Light in the Bond Bridge uh, on Thursday evening, and they certainly have had a very, very busy year. And I'm sure they will be glad to get a free time together, but I know Glenn has enjoyed the engagement, so has Andrea. And also, if I'm right, uh, Glenn, you said last year about bringing your kids that were important to you, and certainly they have done very well. Alex, Cody, and Billy. I think of them right. I remember you saying one of them might be screaming and kicking, but giving the Bible all. But they've done fantastic, and uh, they have certainly been a credit to you. And we've been on the track record. During my term, I'm determined to do all I can to profile all of this borough as a welcome and inspiring place to live, work, invest, and visit. I will use my office to maximize every opportunity available to improve the quality of life for all our citizens, socially and economically. I look forward to visiting many of our businesses, especially our smaller local businesses who are the backbone of our towns and villages. We have many great community groups, church groups, sports groups, who do much to enhance our communities. And I look forward to visiting as many as possible over my term and working with you all. As a council, we have had many successes uh, that we have accomplished since we were first formed ABC Council and we come into existence, but we still have much to do. And in this year, I think it's important to implement the changes necessary to improve this great borough for everyone who lives, works, and socializes in it. I want to thank my wife Fiona and children, Amy, Caleb and Sophia. Amy is at home studying for GCs, but Caleb and Sophia and Fiona are here and I thank them for all their love and support and encouragement to me and also for keeping me grounded for sometimes I need it and I thank them for that. Also my mum and dad, they've been referenced here and my dad and mum are here and have always supported me, encouraged me. I want to thank them tonight for the help and advice that they have given me and guidance. I'm not going to speak very long, it's been referenced by father as the minister, so uh, he always says he's finishing shortly and then he has another point or two, but I'm going to keep it very brief here tonight. And uh, we joke before, it's just getting the landing point in the last place and to see uh, I'm a former councillor, uh, Reverend Parks, or he knows where it is. He struggles to get her stop some nights too, I think, but uh, it's good to see him here. But I definitely want to be a welcoming Lord Mayor uh, for everyone to come in and visit. And I want to work with all our fellow aldermen, councillors, council officers, officers in the year ahead to represent the people of this borough during increasingly challenging times 
Again, I want to thank all our staff and I look forward to working with each and every one of them. I want to also thank the people of Bond Bridge DEA who voted for me and who have had privilege to represent since the formation of the ABC Council and I will continue to work hard for them. I also want to just put on record my thanks to our dear councillor colleague, Alderman Junior McCrum, who was always very encouraging to me and I know he would be delighted tonight if, uh, if he were here with us. As with previous Lord Mayors, I want to work hard to raise money as our previous ones have done for charities. Uh, dear to my own family and to my own heart, and uh, for all worthy causes which we can help with, which this will sort of be able to announce at a later stage. Just before I finish my remarks tonight, and I said we keep them short and will do, but I just want to thank, uh, thinking about my closing remarks today, I was thinking as a Debbie Lord Mayor a few years ago, I had a great pleasure of doing it. On that occasion at the end, I thank my Lord and Saviour for his guidance and help to me over that year. Again tonight, I want also to put my trust in him to lead and guide me a year ahead. It says in Proverbs 3, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. And as I commence my year in office, I pray that our paths will be directed as we meet and take decisions together for the betterment of the people of our borough. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, uh, Councillor Kevin Savage. Yeah, on there. Thank you very much, Lord Mayor. And uh, just to congratulate, congratulate you taking on this new post. I suppose in, in football parlance, you've, uh, you've done the double. You were Lord, Deputy Lord Mayor, and now you're, you're Lord Mayor. So that, that is a, a good achievement as well. Uh, on a personal level, I can remember when I started in council back in 2016, when you were Deputy Mayor, you were hosting an event in Guildford Bowling Club. And you're very welcome to me as a new member then, and I would like to thank you for that. Uh, I do know, Paul, that you will be a, a great Lord Mayor. Yeah, you've proved that throughout the, the years as, as you work on the, the council and also uh, when you chaired the Economic Development Committee. Uh, you've always been uh, positive in your dealings with all members. Uh, your time in chaired economic development was very successful. And I always find you accommodating to all members and you give everybody the opportunity to speak. I do know from working alongside you in different issues in the Bambridge town, you're very passionate about looking after the people of Bambridge and creating a good environment for them to work, live and shop in. And I know you'll continue to promote Bambridge and indeed the borough in that manner. So in, in closing, I wish you every success this year. And it's also to note that that's also a hat trick of Lord Mayor's for the, the Bambridge DA. So that's a, also a positive reflection on the political uh, representatives from this borough. So, uh, congratulations, Paul, and uh, well done. Thank you, Councillor Savage and uh, Councillor Baxter. I wasn't, and they getting learned, Mayor. Alderman Wilson. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, it was just simply to, to wish uh, my colleague, Councillor Greenfield, all the best in the year ahead. Um, as Councillor Savage just said, he's a he's a former Lord Mayor and I'm one myself five years ago, believe it or not. So one thing you will find is that your year will go quick and then if you, if, if God speed, your years will go quicker after it. I've found anyway, it's hard to believe that Time just moves so quickly. So just a bit of advice would be to enjoy it while it's while it's going on and take in as much as you can of the borough. And uh, of course, Councillor Savage will stake a bit of a claim to you as he did when I was there. Bonbridge featured quite heavily, and um, despite my best efforts to make our mouth feature, you know, there's a few Bonbridge people there. I'll, you know, you're a Bonbridge councillor yourself, so you'll you'll know all about it. And Councillor Magalyn, I remember him staking a bit of a claim as well. So between pipes and drums and all sorts. Um, I think uh, Bond Bridge will be uh, thoroughly well represented with, with Councillor Greenfield in the in the, in the prime position. So I wish you all the best and hope you have a, a tremendous year and that you raise a lot of money for your charities. And I know we'll be behind you as a council. And I think that is one thing that is important that um, we do channel that support to you, you know, as elected representatives to make 
the most of the, the year in office and ensure that our borough continues to thrive. So all the best in your role. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Wilson and Councillor O'Hallan. Yeah, thank you, Lord Mayor, and congratulations on taking up the, the new role. Um, during our time on this council together, I've always found you to be an absolute gentleman, and I know you'll bring that uh, same spirit to your year in office. Uh, and can uh, you, re you referenced Councillor Cosby and his uh, fondness for standing orders. Uh, so in that, uh, may your hardest and most difficult decisions be to learn when to cut his mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Best wishes for the year ahead. Thank you for the advice there, Councillor Pope. Uh, Councillor Pope. Thank you, thank you, Lord Mayor, and um, I would also like to congratulate you um, on your new appointment. Um, and again, of course, I'm absolutely delighted. Another Banbridge DEA um, councillor has, has taken this um, position. Um, and what is going to be another um, busy year with no doubt some challenges. Um, I know we both attended, uh, I went over it in November um, to visit France and Belgium and the Somme. Um, and I think sometimes um, in, in those occasions, you know, you're a little bit less formal that we're able to get to know each other a bit back and, and have chats. And I'm, I'm absolutely certain you'll do a, a really good job as Lord Mayor and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Pope. Councillor Barry. Thank you, Lord Mayor. And on a personal level, as one who has known you for many years outside of politics, but now in the political arena, I would like to personally wish you and indeed your wife and family all the very best for the year ahead. I have no doubt you will do a tremendous job. I have the pleasure of knowing your family and Councillor O'Hanlon called you a gentleman and that is very, very fitting because across the political arena and anybody that knows Paul Greenfield knows that he is a gentleman and he treats people with respect and treats people equally. And uh, I'm delighted for your family. And obviously, if there's some night he can't do it, well, then the Reverend Fred could step in, only keeping to his time, or it could be our meetings are long enough. It could be worse when a free Presbyterian minister gets into the, the chair. Uh, but it, it's, uh, it, it's good that you're in that position. And I know that you will do a fantastic job. And I'd like to wish you all the very best in the year ahead. Thank you, Councillor Barry, and I'm sure my father will have words with you after. <laughs> Alderman Spears. Lord Mayor, first of all, congratulations on you being elected to this office. A very great privilege, and I pay you a tribute. I, I hadn't the privilege of knowing you until I, you and I both came here. But in any event, since then, I have found you, as others have referred to, as a gentleman, I have no doubt in, in my dealings with you. And uh, I have little doubt that you will equally uh, serve with dignity uh, the people of this borough in the way that you have acted in this council. I uh, know that you are from Banbridge, Begin to get slightly worried, you know, about the fact that you're not from the first city, from the first city. But in any event, we uh, I'm quite sure there's enough of us here that will not let you forget, you know, that it's still a, a very important place. But in any event, uh, leave all that aside. I certainly wish you well, and I have no uh, problem or no issue in terms of you leading forward in this uh, particular year. As you've rightly referred to, the opportunities that uh, no doubt will present themselves in the economic sphere across this uh, community in the coming year will be something that we will all have to rise to the occasion on. And I've no doubt in that respect, uh, you will be there to give the leadership as, as and when necessary. So I thank you and wish you well and your family uh, for the coming year. Thank you, Lord Mayor. 
Thank you, Alderman Spears, and thank you each one for the kind words. Uh, no more hands up or lights on, so at this stage, I'll hand over to our Chief Executive for the appointment of the Deputy Lord Mayor. <coughs> Thank you, uh, Lord Mayor, and congratulations uh, on your appointment. Uh, next item on the agenda is item 4.2, uh, the appointment of uh, Deputy Lord Mayor for uh, the incoming year. And uh, before uh, doing so, uh, Lord Mayor is normally uh, it's on the agenda for uh, outgoing uh, Deputy Lord Mayor. I know uh, Councillor Donnelly has been in touch. She has had, uh, she's supposed to be joining remotely, is having connection problems. I think uh, Councillor Nelson uh, which wishes to say a few uh, words, uh, Lord Mayor. Thank you, Chief Executive. And I also congratulate our new Lord Mayor and wish him well in the year ahead. Um, it's a, a real, real honour of a role, but a huge commitment um, and sacrifice is made. So I really do wish you well. Um, the Deputy Lord Mayor sends her sincere apologies. Um, she has had an absolute fantastic year as Deputy Lord Mayor and uh, she asked me to congratulate Alderman Barr on the successful year he has had um, and in particular the partnership approach that he embarked upon alongside her. Um, when speaking to her on the phone um, in advance of me speaking on her behalf this evening, she reflected just on how proud she was to take on the role and bring it to the city of Pharma where her heart really is. Um, I asked her what her highlights were and she said that she really enjoyed working with young people, particularly within the GA community of which she uh, is a stalwart and also the work she's done locally with the Special Olympic squad. So sort of um, working with the young people really stood out for her. Um, I know I personally never find her wanting when asking her to make groups or indeed donate to them. Um, what I would say about Councillor Donnelly is she does her work quietly, but my goodness is she put her heart and soul into it. And, I find that during her term, she selflessly reached out to those in, that were in most need, be it the homeless, the elderly, the sick or the war-torn. So uh, despite COVID, I think she has left a, la a lasting legacy. Um, and on behalf of our party group, and we're certainly very proud of her, um, and on behalf of us and, and Councillor Donnelly, I'd wish to uh, congratulate uh, our new and incoming Deputy Lord Mayor and wish them every success also. Lord Mayor, if you're happy enough then uh, to proceed on, uh, the next uh, order of business is the appointment of the Deputy Lord Mayor for the incoming year, 22-23. Uh, and once again, uh, that position falls upon uh, the Democratic Unionist Party. And I would again call on the nominating officer for the party, Councillor Baxter, uh, to provide the nomination. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I was going to say Lord Mayor, but not the Chief Executive. You haven't been promoted to that stage yet, Roger. Um, <laughs> this is the, uh, I suppose, the second best kept secret uh, in these chambers this evening. Um, it's a great privilege tonight to uh, propose a, a colleague of mine, not only a colleague, but a, a colleague in the DEA as well of Lagan River, um, a champion, indeed, of the rural areas and a champion of the farmer, um, coming from an agricultural background himself and particularly a champion of conservation and all those things related to that. Um, and anybody who knows, um, Councillor McKellen, as an Uffield scholar as well, will know that he really does put those things forefront um, in his in his council life and what he brings to us um, as, as a council group into that role. Um, Councillor McKellen um, is a very measured and logical and critical thinker. Um, brings a very measured response to some of the debates we have in our own council group meetings and certainly is very switched on when it comes to the complexity sometimes of, of this chamber and the, and the workings of it and, and policies and all that type of thing. So it's a great pleasure tonight to propose officially on behalf of the Democratic Unionist Party um, Councillor Tim McCann, um tonight to the role of Deputy Lord Mayor. There's been much said tonight about the Lord Mayor and about how that he is a gentleman. Well, I can tell you tonight, the Deputy Lord Mayor is also a gentleman, I think. That'll be echoed across the chamber as well. Um, he will certainly treat everybody fairly in that role and, and the places when he has to step up and um, when, when the Lord Mayor is unavailable and whatever. So to him and to his wife, Can, and to his children, it's good to see. I think there's some of his family members in the chamber 
tonight in the public gallery. It's good to see them here as well. So I wish them all the best and wish them a very successful year. Um, and to you, Tim, and officially, as I've said, to officially propose um, Councillor Tim McDowell to the role of Deputy Lord Mayor. Thank you, uh, Councillor Baxter, for the nomination. And we're going to bring in our new Lord, Deputy Lord Murr. Could I be the first to congratulate you, Deputy Lord Murr? And I see you brought a fan for with you. <laughs> it, 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 it wasn't here for me. The timing wasn't right there. But I do want to be the first to congratulate you. Lord Murr, Alderman, members, can I thank you for electing me as Deputy Lord Mayor of Armagh City, Banbridge, and Crick Avonbora. This is really a great honour and privilege for me. Indeed, Lord Mayor, many congratulations on your election, and I trust that you have a fantastic year as our Lord Mayor. May, may I thank my Heavenly Father for all his blessings thus far and trust him for the days ahead. Thanks are due to my Democratic Unionist Party colleagues for placing their faith in me for this appointment. I, I, I would like to say a huge thank you to my family for all their help and support over the years, and especially these last three years on council. Some members will know of the health challenges that Karen, my wife, has been going through. And indeed, shielding requirements mean that Karen is unable to join us this evening. But I'm pleased to report that she is getting stronger during this post-recovery phase. I must also pay tribute to my late father this evening, members. I know he would be proud of his boy, the farmer from Tandragee, on being elected as Deputy Lord Mayor. It's great to have my mom here this evening with, with Hannah and with Nathan. And unfortunately, exam revision dictates that my older two kids, Cameron and Rachel, couldn't be here. Members, may I also thank my predecessor, Councillor Donnelly, for her year of service as Deputy Lord Mayor. And indeed, thanks are also due to the electors of the Lagan River DEA that sent me here. Indeed, members, one party colleague said to me a few weeks ago, now, Tim, there's more to ABC than Ken Allen. Uh. <laughs> On a more serious note, members, I'm really looking forward to getting out across the whole borough during my year. Finally, Lord Mayor, I look forward to working with you during the up and coming year as we collectively represent ABC Council and all our residents. Members, that's me done. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Lord Mayor and Councillor Bruno Hawking. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Congratulations on your new role. And I would just like to offer our congratulations as well on behalf of myself and the Sinn Féin party group and to our new Deputy Lord Mayor, as well as giving my thanks to the outgoing Deputy Lord Mayor, Jackie Donnelly, um, to the incoming Lord Deputy Lord Mayor. I've no doubt that it'll be a fantastic year and we're really looking forward to working with you and seeing what this year has in store for you. Thank you, Councillor Hockey and Councillor Lavery. Uh, Gary Melgut, uh, Lord Mayor, thank you. I uh, just want to begin by thanking uh, the outgoing Deputy Lord Mayor, uh, Councillor Donnelly, for her year of service in the role. I know uh, she had a good year, and particularly her work with young people as recognised in the meeting will certainly serve the borough well. I know taking up such a role requires uh, sacrifice and support for our family members, 
I'd just like to pass on our thanks uh, as a as a as a borough to her family as well uh, for allowing her to carry out the role. So wish her well uh, for the future. Uh, but also, I have the privilege of uh, thanking and, and wishing well uh, Councillor McClelland on his role as Deputy Lord Mayor there on behalf of my party alliance. Um, myself and Councillor McClelland were both elected in 2019, and uh, and the wiser heads in our parties put us on both on the planning committee, which is a bit of baptism of fire, and uh, certainly, uh, like myself, Councillor McClelland was certainly very enthusiastic and got st uh, straight into those complex planning applications asking questions. I know Councillor McClelland will be equally as enthusiastic and uh, uh, on the front foot in terms of his role as Deputy Lord Mayor for, for the borough. So I wish uh, Councillor McClelland the very best year ahead uh, for the role. And uh, he's welcome in a Hagallon and any time as well as Canal and uh, supporting those rural villages. And I'm sure RMS City as well to keep uh, Alderman Spears happy. But uh, just congratulations on behalf of my party and uh, to, to the Lord Mayor as well. Uh, I've always known the Lord Mayor as a gentleman. Uh, and I know he will do an excellent job in the role uh, for the year ahead as well. So uh, thank you for my parties. Thank you, Councillor Lavery and Councillor O'Hanlon. Yeah, thank you, Lord Mayor. And like others, uh, Deputy Lord Mayor, can I congratulate you on your uh, appointment this evening uh, and to wish you and uh, your family well in the year ahead. Um, we always look at the, the dynamics between the, the Lord Mayor and the Deputy Lord Mayor and up until now, it's been two separate parties. Uh, so this year might be just the, the interesting one to, to watch out. But uh, let's hope you, you continue to be uh, friends in the in the year ahead. Uh, uh, but look, very best wishes to you. And like others, uh, join in the, in the thanks to Councillor Donnelly for uh, her year as Deputy Lord Mayor as well. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hallam and Alderman Spears. Lord Mayor, I just want to say a word of congratulations to one of my constituents, uh, Councillor uh, McClellan, on his uh, elevation to the role of Deputy Lord Mayor. I know Councillor McClellan for quite a number of years. I, uh, um, he mentioned his father. I knew his father. Indeed, the, the family, as my wife comes from not far away from that part of the country, as he would know. And uh, I have known him for 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 good number of years. He does some farming in, in my part of the world as well. And uh, I uh, meet him from time to time. But in any event, I have uh, certainly found that he has an interest in, in, in farming. And uh, he has a, a tremendous interest in uh, Lagan River. And that slightly worries me because I have a colleague that begins to think that Lagan River had been a sort of forgot about. So I'm a sort of beginning to get slightly worried now that we have a, we have a couple of people to deal with in any event and that Arma and places others that maybe be left behind in as a consequence of this. But I have no doubt there's plenty of us there that will uh, no doubt remind him and others that that cannot be the case. But in any event, Councillor McClellan, I, I wish you well in your role and I uh, hope that you have a successful year in office. Thank you and your family and I hope and trust your wife keeps well. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Spears and Councillor Barry. Thank you, Lord Mayor. And could I also wish the Deputy Lord Mayor Councillor McClelland, all the very best for his year ahead. I've had the pleasure of knowing him also outside the political arena, and now he's inside it. Uh, but I would like to wish him well. He's a, a chap with great ability, and, and during his, his first term here in council, he has certainly acted with great ability and strength in the chamber here and outside the chamber, and I have no doubt he will do a wonderful job. He'll be a great deputy to you, uh, Lord Mayor, and wish you and your wife indeed and family all the very best for the year ahead. Thank you, Councillor Barry and Councillor Cosby. Hey, thank you, Lord Mayor. And can I be associated with the remarks just already previously made in relation to your own elevation to your new role and to that of the Deputy Lord Mayor's role as well? Many will give you advice, Lord Mayor. There's no doubt about that. And Councillor Hanlon's already attempted that this evening about my microphone. Um, but I know you will make your own decisions in that regard. Um, but it's just to say it's a pleasure to have my name ringing around this chamber before I even open my mouth. Uh, from every other party except for my own, um, but that says a lot about uh, them, I suppose. Um, but just to say to you, Deputy Lord Mayor, I um, 
I uh, congratulate you on your elevation uh, to the role. I know when you came in in 2019 that you came out of the blocks fairly quickly. And uh, I guess Canalan um, and every uh, road and grass verge has been tramped on by the fate of Timothy McClellan. There's no doubt about that. Um, and so I know in this role that you will be, uh, you will treat uh, the role with the same fervour as you do for the work that you do for your constituents. So congratulations, wish you and your family and to you, Lord Mayor, to you and your family as well. Um, every success in what will be, no doubt, a very busy year. Um, and in relation to the outgoing Lord Mayor, if I can just say, uh, Lord Mayor, there was reference made a number of weeks to go to a bromance. I wasn't sure what that was referenced to. It was made more clear to me this evening um, when Councillor Lavery uh, was mentioned in the same sentence as I was. And I've got good news for Councillor Lavery. I'm joining the planning committee on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and just for the record, he turned his own mic off there. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> Councillor Tinsley. Um, and I just want to also say um, congratulations to you, Lord Mayor, and to the Deputy Lord Mayor. Um, Paul and Tim, um, you're not only colleagues to me, but you're very special friends with a great friendship. We help each other um, through, you know, issues and things that's, that's happening on the council. And I value your friendship and uh, um, throughout our time on council. I just want to bless, you know, wish you all the very best, that you have good health and that you and your families have a great year. And that um, you will just I know together that we're very blessed in this council to have two very strong, kind, thoughtful Christian gentlemen representing this council. And I know you won't let us down. And that I just wish you all the very, very best. And I know that your families tonight, whether they're listening in or whether they're in the chamber, are extremely proud of you both. So all the very best for the future, for the year. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Tinsley and uh, Alderman Barr. Thank you very much, Lord Mayor. As a former Lord Mayor, I wish to take this opportunity to congratulate yourself and the Lady Mayoress on your elevation too. I think it's it's been sort of missed throughout the, the congratulations, but congratulations to you both in your family and to the Debbie Lord Mayor as well to congratulate yourself, Tim. Have a successful year. Go and have a good bit of crack and enjoy it. And that's the best thing I can, I can say to you. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you, and just uh, Debbie Lord Mayor, just going to come in for a comment. Yes, indeed, Lord Mayor. It's just to thank members from right across the chamber for their kind wishes, and again, I really look forward to working with everyone as we progress our borough. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Lord Mayor. We'll now move on to 4.3 and I'll hand back to the Chief Executive. Thank you, uh, Lord Mayor. Yes, uh, item 4.3 is the appointment to the other positions of responsibility. And members know that uh, effectively means the chairs and the vice chairs of uh, all of our committees. Um, you have been furnished with uh, the schedule of those in advance of the meeting. So, Lord Mayor, it's really just, I suppose, for uh, Council to confirm its agreement to those positions. Members are all agreed. Thank you, uh, Lord Mayor. Okay, and the next item, again, is appointment to committees. Thank you. Uh, back to the Chief Executive. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Yes, uh, item five, uh, similarly then, uh, is the, the makeup of uh, the various committees and uh, those members that will be uh, attending uh, each of those uh, committees. So, Lord Mayor, once again, uh, just to get Council's agreement uh, to the, the membership. Members are all agreed. Uh, Councillor Nicholson. Yep, thank you, Lord Mayor, and, and all the best for your next 12 months in, 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 in the hot seat. I'm sure it'll be, it will be a hot one, I'm sure, especially in an election year. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few things coming out. And of course, Tim Debbie, a fellow planning. Well, you will miss Tim on, on the committee. I have to say you're a very uh, useful member of the committee and, and 
and of course we've got a, 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 a good replacement in Councillor Cosby. He'll maybe stay this course this time. He only stayed for a, a few months the last time, and and uh, but look forward to working with him and the, and the committee going forward. No, look, um, I don't know what's happened here, but a uh, with the Lord Mayor, the outcome of Lord Mayor, I'm off the Environmental Committee. Uh, Glenn's back on 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 the Environmental Committee instead of me. So I just want to make that point, Roger. So. And, and I think also Ian Burns is off the leisure because Glenn's taking his two positions back. So, okay, thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you, Councillor uh, Jackson. And Lord Mayor, that's what you were on. Here it is, aren't you okay? Are you okay, though? Uh, Lord Mayor, we'll uh, pick those up. Uh, thank you, uh, Councillor Nicholson. Yep. Okay, and our next item then, agenda item six, report on the appointment of Alderman. I'm going to bring in the Chief Executive. Thank you uh, again, uh, Lord Mayor. Yes, item six, uh, appointment of Alderman. And uh, members will be aware that uh, this, these are positions that we appointed at the start of uh, our council term. Uh, and uh, you will also be aware that very sadly, um, Alderman McCrum passed away in July of, of last year and Alderman Rankin uh, at the time uh, in March this year had resigned. So there are two vacant uh, Alderman uh, positions on council. Um, the regulations state that uh, the vacancies uh, can only be filled uh, by uh, at the next council meeting or the next annual meeting of council, which is obviously uh, this evening, uh, Lord Mayor. Uh, so they couldn't be filled before now. Um, all nominations for the position of alderman must be proposed and then seconded um, for them to be valid. And also the nominees must assent to uh, the nomination and the nominations will be until the end of the current council term. So Lord Mayor, I'm in members' hands with regard to uh, the filling of the two vacant alderman uh, positions. Thank you, Chief Executive, but we're now uh, Councillor Cosby, you have your light on. Thank you, um, Lord Mayor. Um, and this is um, one of those occasions where um, memories of our former colleague come come back uh, in relation to Junior McCrum. Junior was an alderman in this council from 2014 um, until July last year. And so for us, it is bittersweet that we would um, be dealing with these positions uh, this evening. So um, if I could, Lord Mayor, just propose that Alderman Rankin, that Councillor Rankin and Councillor Baxter um, would adopt the title of Alderman. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Cosby and uh, Alderman Woodrick. Thank you, Lord Mayor. I'm very happy to second the proposal so ably made by Councillor Cosby. Thank you, Alderman Woodrick. And firstly, can I ask Councillor Rankin if you're willing to accept? And Councillor Baxter? Yep. Okay, they've accepted and been proposed. We've all agreed. All agreed. Thank you. Which we're coming close to the end of our meeting tonight. Uh, agenda item seven, is there any correspondence? And agenda item eight, any, item eight, any other relevant business? And we have one uh, request come in from for other relevant business, and it's Councillor Nelson. Thank you, Lord Mayor, and thank you uh, for so kindly taking and accepting this item of any other business. Um, Lord Mayor, as you'll know, at the, the weekend, sadly, we witnessed the ugly face of sectarianism, as some gathered to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee of the Queen. Indeed, I would imagine that Her Majesty herself would wish to disassociate herself with those behaviours given the acts of peace and reconciliation that she herself has embarked upon. However, I don't want to give those involved any further time. Instead, I want to reflect on Michaela McAreevey, a young woman of 27 who was much loved by her friends and family, a wife, a daughter, a sister, and a friend. The special bond she shared with her dad was something that always stood out for me. Michaela's legacy lives on in the Michaela Foundation, which has been a beacon of light for so many young people. And that is how Michaela is to be remembered. 
That is how she will live on in the hearts and minds of many. Board Mayor, sorry because you got caught doesn't quite cut it for me. However, the one positive that has come out of this weekend is the absolute rejection of sectarianism we have seen from a broad section of society here, a true mark of where the majority of us are. And so in that spirit, Lord Mayor, I would like to propose that we write to the Hart and McAreevy families to offer our full and unequivocal support, expressing our solidarity and indeed our admiration for them and for Michaela. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Nelson and Councillor Hawkin. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Just to second that proposal from Councillor Nelson. Thank you. Thank you. And Councillor O'Hanlon. Yeah, thank you, um, Lord Mayor, and want to be associated with the, the comments of Councillor Nelson. Um, I think it's important that um, we note the, uh, the event and we note that there are ongoing investigations, so it's important that we all are cautious as to what we say. However, I think it was a, a John McAreevy put it best in a tweet over the weekend whenever he said uh, that uh, hate hurts, but love will win out. And I think that's where we should leave it. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Hanlon. Yes, certainly will agree to the request and be writing on behalf of the Council. And uh, just so we all agreed, we all agree. Thank you. Well, that is the end of our. Uh, meeting. I want to thank each one of you for your attendance and especially for the kind words to myself and the Deputy Lord Mayor. We do look forward to working with each one throughout this year. And uh, at the end of the meeting, I just want to say thank you 